danger signs in newborns for health workers. Newborn danger signs point to serious illness that can lead rapidly to death in the first vulnerable weeks of life. Early recognition by families and health workers is key to getting timely care and saving babies' lives. This video reviews each of the eight major danger signs. These clinical signs, alone or in combination, are valuable in identifying babies that need urgent referral for hospital-level care. In every visit with a sick baby, routinely check for each of the eight major danger signs. Poor feeding is the first danger sign. The baby with poor feeding sucks less, or poorly, or not at all. He may not open his mouth when offered the breast, or he doesn't act hungry. He may not wake up to feed, or he does not stay awake long enough to empty the breast. Here, we compare a healthy baby. She is alert and suckles well at the breast. Lethargy is the second danger sign. Observe the baby's movements. A baby with lethargy will have less energy than normal and appear sluggish and drowsy. Try to wake the baby. Clap or rub a foot. Notice that the baby with lethargy doesn't wake up easily. Here, we compare a normal sleeping baby. When we try to wake him, even just by clapping, he reacts normally by fussing and crying. And then he stays awake. The baby with lethargy only moves when aroused, or he doesn't move at all. Lethargy and poor feeding often overlap. Convulsions are the third danger sign. Features of convulsions in a newborn are often subtle, such as a staring look, blinking of eyelids, and unusual movement of the lips. Convulsions can also be more obvious. In this baby, we see tight flexing of his feet and repetitive jerking of his arm. A cold body temperature is the fourth danger sign. Compare the baby's body temperature to your own. If the baby's feet and belly are cold, the baby is too cold and may be very sick. A thermometer measuring less than 35.5 degrees is dangerously low. Warm the baby quickly through skin-to-skin -skin contact on the mother's chest and cover them with blankets. If, after the baby is warmer, he still looks unwell, this is a danger sign. A hot body temperature is the fifth danger sign. The baby's body will feel hot to touch compared to your own body. The mother may report that the baby's mouth is hot on her breast. The face and body may look flushed. A temperature more than 37.5 degrees is too high. Cool the baby off by removing his clothes for 10 minutes. If the baby is still too hot or looks unwell, this is a danger sign. Chest in drawing is the sixth danger sign. Watch the baby's chest and abdomen closely. Notice as the baby draws a breath, his chest draws in and the belly appears to move out.
fast breathing is the seventh danger sign. To determine if a baby is breathing too fast, count breaths for a full minute when the baby is quiet. More than 60 is too fast. Count again to be sure. Babies with breathing problems can have fast breathing or chest in drawing and often both signs occur together. Here, we compare a baby with normal breathing to a baby with both fast breathing and chest in drawing. Nasal flaring and grunting a sound heard on the out breath can also be present in a baby with severe breathing problems. Jaundice is the eighth danger sign. Jaundice appears first on the face and spreads to the trunk and then to the palms and soles. Here, we compare a baby's palm without jaundice to a palm with jaundice. Here is a baby's soul without jaundice compared to a soul with jaundice. Jaundice is severe if it's seen in the first 24 hours of life, if it's present in a sick baby, or is ever seen on the palms and soles. A baby with any of the eight major danger signs needs to be referred right away to a higher level facility. Give the first doses of antibiotics before the baby leaves, if you are able to. These babies will need intramuscular injections of ampicillin and gentamicin. Notify the facility, write a referral note, and arrange transportation. Be sure the baby is fed often and kept warm through skin-to-skin -skin contact throughout the trip. Remember, routinely check babies for the eight danger signs. Poor feeding, lethargy, convulsions, too cold, too hot, chest in drawing, fast breathing, and jaundice. Teach mothers and caregivers. Refer these babies promptly to a higher level facility.